Hello, hello, hello there, my Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this full moon in Virgo to new moon in Aries, March 2020. Well, it only happens once a year. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal for short, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional intuitive. And fellow Earth sign Virgo, very excited uh, to be doing these reads today. These are quickies, so let's get through the uh, stuff I gotta say so we can get to the stuff we wanna say. This is a general read, but if you're new to the channel, please do like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because I need you to kind of feel out and take what resonates, leave what does not, right? Uh, not everybody can read everybody 100% 24-7, right? So if you are new to my channel, check me out. But please, because if you know me, if you're new, if you're not new to my channel, you know this already. But if you are new, um, this is a quickie read. I usually do much longer ones. So please take what resonates, leave what does not, and check your other signs. That's why I'm doing Sun, Moon, Rising, right? Also keeping them uh, quick, because essentially what I'm doing is pulling one card from the seven different decks that I use, representing the different pantheons of the divine that I work with. Cool? So you're getting clues, tips, hints, but maybe not going to tell you exactly what to do, although sometimes some of these cards can tell you exactly where to go, exactly what to do, because that's what Guidance and Grace is all about. Cool. We are looking at the full moon uh, in Virgo that is happening on uh, Monday, uh, March 9th. I'm actually going to be on a radio program that night. I've got your number with Lois T. Martin, numerologist. I've known her since the 90s. That should be fun. And Mercury goes direct on the same day, so that should be interesting, considering Mercury rules Virgo and it's Virgo full moon. I'm feeling like something's going to manifest and it feels good, but it feels like something we need to really prepare for, right? To build the infrastructure for at least mentally, you know, Mercury. Anyway, uh, to the new moon on the 24th of March. It is new moon in Aries. So uh, if you can breathe and I can breathe as we do this, we'll all be in the present moment and we'll get you as many clues, tips, hints, guidance, and grace that I can from my pantheons as possible. Cool, cool. Take a nice deep breath. We're going to start with um, the uh, Caroline Mace Archetype deck. Uh, all of the decks that I read are in the description box at the very bottom. Scroll down because there's other cool stuff on the way on, uh, down there. Uh, but this is all of my pantheons together as one. All of them choose this card for you. Cool, cool. Let's do this. my collective pantheons of angels, goddesses, gods, masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Please, one card in clarity. Ooh, there it is for this uh, Taurus collective sun, moon, rising uh, sign. This full moon to new moon next March 2020. Keep in mind, uh, these cards have shadow and light written on them. The shadow attribute and the light attribute because all archetypes, like all forms of power, are neutral. It depends on how you use them, right? So whatever's triggering you here in the shadow, if it's triggering you, no, nobody needs to know about it, but you're moving towards the light, right? So take this in. Oh, such a great archetype. The hero or the heroine archetype. Oh, the action family. I have this one lifelong. It's what's called a Kronos archetype for me. I've had it all of this lifetime since birth. Because uh, a hero is, <laughs> we have certainly confused in our language heroes with rescuers and avengers. The hero, the rescuer, and the avenger are three different flavors of power, right? But we kind of lump them together, and that's fine. But you, he you hear hero, and immediately you think someone who's, like, saving people. That's a rescuer. Or someone who's defending and righting the, the scales of balance. That's the avenger. The hero in its shower, in its shadow, maybe it needs a shower, uh, escapism and false sense of heroism, right? Da 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 da! <laughs> I made the bed! <laughs> well, lovely. Uh, the light attribute, passion for a journey of personal empowerment, which what my life has been about. Now look, chances are, if you have this lifelong like I do, you've had a lot of setbacks. What's a hero's journey without dragons and demons to slay and embrace as you go along, right? To alchemize and all of that. It's a rough road, but it's about personal empowerment. So really, if this is very dominant in your life right now, where you feel like, 
Heracles, Hercules, you're, you're facing your 12 labors in order to get to where you want to go in your own path of personal empowerment, this could be a very interesting waning moon. Keep in mind, full to new moon, things are diminished, things are released, things are waned, whittled down. So uh, keep an eye on that as you're trying to climb this mountain hero or heroine. Uh, but don't freak, that could be you, that could be a dominant person that you are dealing with. It kind of feels more like it's you. Uh, slow and steady wins the race on that, my Taurians, unless you're in full charge mode there. Uh, but it could also be a situation uh, that many people are put in. I've seen that go down too, where we all have to rise into our own empowerment, hopefully for the well-being of all. Hmm. Let's ask the angels what they think about that with uh, the Healing with the Angels Oracle card by Doreen Virtue. Nice deep breath. <sighs> oh, my angels, my Urielites, please, the angels of Earth for this Taurian collective sun, moon, rising sign. What do they need? What do they need to look at? What do they need to know about from the angelic kingdom uh, in this uh Full moon in Virgo to new moon in Aries, March 2020, please. My angels. Soulmate. Now look, this deck does not have a twin flame card. So soulmates and twin flames, they're both soul contracts. So no matter whether it is a twin flame or a soulmate, we're not checking right now. I just did the twin flames, I think. Well, I'm, go check your path of true love, too. That might be in there. Uh, but I will certainly be doing the soulmate and twin flame readings, uh, but this is saying there's definitely a soul contract afoot in here, one where you perhaps are playing the role of the hero, not necessarily the rescuer, not necessarily the avenger, a path of personal power. So that's why if it's a twin flame, it could be very turbulent, very trying, very tricky, very transformative for you to step into your power that way. But if it is a soulmate, it's more satisfying and soothing and symbiotic, right? Um, kind of feel that out as you go, but take the journey. But this also says you are not alone on this journey. Yeah, okay, and by the way, soulmate can also indicate more than one other person. It can be soul family. So remember, it's an oracle card. They don't necessarily carry uh, uh, tons of information written on them, but can be interpreted in so many different ways. So that might play itself out, whether it's a one-on-one, -on -one, a family thing, a twin flame, a soulmate, all that kind of stuff. But definitely, this hero is not alone on this hero's journey. Mm -hmm. Let's ask the goddesses, the collective divine yin, half the universal energy, the feminine energy, uh, with the Daughters of the Moon Tarot, shall we? Nice, deep breath, my Taurians. Oh, my goddesses, please. One card in clarity for this Taurus Collective Sun Moon Rising Sign for this full moon in Virgo to new moon next in Aries, please. What do they need? March 2020, this full moon to new moon next. Three of Cups, bonding, good. An initial emotional bonding, right? Making some new friends, maybe. Definitely this could be soul family in terms of more than one person. The three often does indicate more than two. I mean, not just numerically, but symbolically. Where the two of cups, we kind of see that as emotional attraction, a heart attraction of some kind of soul attraction. Uh, this is bonding. This is having a good time. This is a party thing. Maybe you're hanging out with friends and meet somebody or just that colloquial fun acceptance being part of something tribal or otherwise small circle of friends gigantic party hard to tell but something where this this is going to be an emotional time for you but it feels really good and it feels like though you're going to have challenges on the path as heroes always do uh, for this full moon to new moon next that you also have the emotional support of friends, perhaps even soul family through this, can be a really, really good time, right? So maybe you're doing a little bit of a victory dance as the hero or the heroine here with your friends or maybe with a significant other. Because by the way, the card is called bonding, the three of cups in the Daughters of the Moon. So it can be that you make a stronger emotional bond with one other person, but it's definitely a bit more on the lighter side, right? It's only a three, right? Even a two, people are like, oh, it's a true love card. It's like, it's a two. Get me to the 10, then we'll talk about true love. 
breathe. Let's ask the gods with the mythic tarot and the divine masculines here. Ah. Uh. Oh, my gods, please, one card in clarity for this Taurus Collective, sun, moon, rising sign. Uh, this full moon in Virgo to new moon next in Aries, please, a clue, a tip, a hint. What's going on for them here, this Taurus Collective, sun, moon, rising sign, this new moon to full moon next, March 2020? Hmm. You go from three of cups to the eight of cups. Now, the eight of cups is traditionally thought of as the card of walking away, and I get that because of the uh, the Rider Waite deck. Thank you, Pamela Coleman Smith. Beautiful deck, love it. It's what I trained on as a teenager. I started when I was twelve. I'm gonna be fifty-two, and I know I don't look good. Uh, this is more walking into, though. Yes, perhaps walking away from something, but towards something else. I learned from the Ashaya monks every step. Uh, towards the north is a step away from the south. Every step away from the south is a step towards the north. So it doesn't matter whether you're trying to expand your consciousness or release stress. You do one, the other happens, right? So this could very much be about going on a journey, right? Walking towards something that, of course, is going to be walking away from something that is unfulfilling, perhaps because this is divine masculine energy, right? The God energy, the yang, that perhaps this is more about emotionally moving away and towards something that is much more emotionally satisfying, fun, right? Like walking away from something that's emotionally kind of dead, kind of a drag. Now, th there are things we have to take responsibility for, but that would certainly indicate that uh, the hero, heroine archetype here is on a, a path of what? personal empowerment, that this might be something you're doing for your own, not just emotional satisfaction or pleasure, but for your own emotional health, right? Particularly if you're going from a twin flame turbulent to a soulmate satisfying. Yeah, go check out uh, the video I did clarifying twin flame soulmates and true lovers, right? Different forms of soul contract. But I am feeling with that eight of cups, there is going to be some upset there. Interesting that the moon in the sky here is waxing moon. Really, it should be waning moon. But that also does indicate that something is building, right? That you are moving towards something uh, more so than away from. But it doesn't mean everybody's going to be happy about it. Paths of personal empowerment don't usually thrill your tribes, <laughs> right? Particularly if they want to keep you under their thumb, right? Self-esteem is not tribe esteem. Just saying. <laughs> Learned that one the hard way, but early on in this life. Yeah, try being a gay witch in a family. Great fun. Chances are some of you are, right? You're feeling me. That's why if, you, if you're ever interested, go check out my Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group. No one will ever know you're in it. Mark Angelo Lyons Mel for short. We have a lot of supportive people in there. And anybody who's like being an asshole or dickly has gone. <laughs> They're out of there. It's not a weak enough bomb all day long, but as soon as someone starts getting weird and ooky and mean and cruel, they're gone. So trust me, I know how to moderate <clears throat> Virgo. Ready? Let's ask the Ascended Masters through the Chuck Trevano Love Pack. Breathe. <laughs> My ascended, they're like, we're here. <laughs> My Ascended Masters, please. One card in clarity, a piece of the problem that they need to know about, a piece of luck that, that's headed towards them, for them, a piece of healing that they need to embrace, or a piece of grace that's being showered down upon them, please. My Ascended Masters, one for this Taurus Collective Sun Moon Rising sign, this new moon in Virgo to full moon next in Aries. Please. Please. Uh, you've got the problem card here. Uh, one of the problem cards, I mean, from the suit of problems, and it is mistake. And not that you're making a mistake. I'm not feeling that because the hero has to make mistakes on the hero's journey. It's not much of a story if he gets it right, if she gets it right every single time, right? All of the great heroes made boo-boos, right? Went down a dead-end street. Um, whether it's uh, the intellectual, like Hercule Poirot, sees it incorrectly, picks up the wrong clue, misinterprets, right? Or if it is really the struggle of the hero. <laughs> My cats are acting up. Great fun. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The mistake may be this walking away from the Eight of Cups and into this emotional bonding is a rectification of that. Not feeling that's the mistake, Mm, but you really need to kind of check your gut on that with that much water going on, not just your emotions. Aw, bless you, Bells. You want to come sit? 
you sneezed. <laughs> My kitties. Come on up. Come on up, bugger. I love when they come up here. You know, they used to do it all the time when I record. Come on. Yeah, just fucking stand at my, stare at my hand. Yeah, I'll snuggle them later. The truth is, is that you can't screw up the divine plan. You can't screw up the quantum field. There's an infinite number of probabilities and near infinite number of probabilities for every choice you make. So even if you don't make the mistake, there's another quantum version of you that will, right? So you might as well take the hero's journey because sometimes you got to be bad. You got to be bold. You got to be wiser. <laughs> You gotta be hard, you gotta be tough, you gotta be stronger. You gotta be cool, you gotta be calm, you gotta stay together. But all I know, all I know is love will save the day. Yeah. Are you gonna be a hero of true love? I'm doing my best to. Blessing and forgiving people, I gotta let go. <laughs> That's some hard shit. But, you know, you do the best that you can on the journey. So remember, mistakes in retrospect are often seen as amazing things that went down. It's like, oh, I thought that was a mistake. It was the best thing that ever could have happened. Let's find out from your higher self, right? The Whispers of Love Oracle. Here we go. Breathe. Oh, the Higher Self Collective. Please, one card in clarity. <laughs> the Higher Selves of all involved here for this Aries Collective. Uh, Taurus Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising Sign for this new moon in Virgo to new moon in Aries. Please, the Higher Self Collective, the Higher Selves of all involved, a whisper of love, a piece of guidance and grace from their Higher Self through me to them through this card. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationship with, listening and talking to each other. Spend quality time with each other. So I don't think that's the mistake. I think that this soulmate contract here, there might be some intimidation. There might be some fear. The mistake would be probably walking away from that which feels good, which feels like you're, you're being called forward on the hero's journey. Be right back. Sorry, they knocked some... When, they, when they're knocking the water around, that's some good. Why do they do that with their hands? I don't know. They're paws. Cats. Anyway, spend some quality time together. This mistake here really feels like with the, both the divine masculine and the divine feminine talking about water, right? Cups, intuition, and emotion. To not be propelled by your emotion, but do understand that you're being called towards a deeper sense of bonding. So past mistakes really spend time getting to know each other. Don't rush into this because if you look over your shoulder, we've all done it. We've all ran away from things and into other things to escape. This is not walking away. This is walking toward. Do not let the mistakes of the past scare you, but learn from them by spending some quality time together talking to and listening to each other. It's such wisdom, particularly with this soulmate card here with a strong emotional bond, you know. That Eight of Cups is a little tricky. I'll get it. You might have to kind of um, really walk away from some other more um, toxic <laughs> vibrational stuff going on. We've got one more card down, which should help. The Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn, my new favorite thing to play with. Let's ask the Ascended Masters again. By the way, they gave us this mistake card, so they should have some remedy for that, or at least a point of view to look at it from. Ready? Breathe. My Ascended Masters, please, one card in clarity for this Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign. For this full moon to new moon next, March 2020, please, what is the ultimate, most helpful, truly helpful healing mantra for this Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign this full moon to new moon next? Allowing appreciation. I have to say, the Path of True Love reads that I just completed last night, 
this came up three times out of 12. So there's something about, I think, that's going on with us collectively. It's like, because we're in such a tricky time on the planet, can we actually focus on appreciation? Like, click in the lens of, how is this working? How is this a good thing, right? It's not the easiest thing to do. Allowing appreciation, the value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. There is your mantra. And I am going to read from the book on this one. Uh, because it, it goes deeper, right? The value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it, allowing appreciation. Let's get you this one. <clears throat> when appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of your soul. The more often you appreciate, the greater value you feel within your own life. And that is true, right? It's you know, The opposite is certainly easier, right? Where you just start nitpicking everything and you find feeling worse and worse and worse as more things to nitpick appear. Uh, while uh, there is true worth in uncovering your life's purpose, hero, uh, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do. Now, I think that really does speak to that Eight of Cups walking away and that Three of Cups bonding of you really moving towards something that feels better. It doesn't matter what you do or don't do. Uh, they are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. Instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. This will awaken the feelings of elation that are always alive within you. This mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness, decreasing feelings of scarcity, and raising your vibration. So we've got a hero, and you know, is this you? Is this somebody else? Is this a situation? Can be all three, but definitely you're not alone in this. There is a soul contract afoot, like we said, either twin flame, soulmate, soul family, we don't know, but with that Three of Cups, there's definitely an emotional bond here. This feels good, though. Like, even just holding it in my hand, I can feel it's like, this is calm. This is, though you may have to be a, a, a little bolder, a little stronger to really kind of be the hero. You might have to walk into something more emotional or away from something emotionally dissatisfactory or toxic that, yes, you can see as a mistake, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, but can you uh, increase the value of your life by appreciating everything in it? And I think that word everything is key as appreciating, yes, I needed to make that mistake. I needed to make that mistake. Or maybe I need to make this mistake in front of me because there's something of value here that I can appreciate the experience being the hero. You know, it also can be said that, you know, what's perfect for somebody might seem like a mistake to somebody else. Uh, being a gay witch, I can tell you a lot of people think that me going public is a mistake, but I refuse to live in a closet. Go ahead. If someone's going to kill me, I'll just come right the fuck back. <laughs> you do not want me unleashed in the spirit world. Talk about some Obi-Wan Kenobi behind the scenes hijink. Woo, girl, right? So allowing appreciation, but certainly in terms of whatever is going on here, spend some quality time together. Get to know each other. It says right on the card, it is imperative, my hero, that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationship with, like a soul contract, uh, listening and talking to each other. That's a really, really good read. So, may the Taurus Collective sun, moon, rising signs be blessed with all that they need this uh, full moon to new moon next March 2020, that they may connect with the soul contracts that they need to, that they may feel that emotional bonding, walk away from something toxic deeper into something more satisfying, even if that's within themselves, rectifying all mistakes by seeing everything as helping them forward on their path as they are learning how to spend quality time uh, with those that are significant in their life. And so it is. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like I said, I'm keeping these quickies because uh, uh, I just did 12 one-hour readings over three days, four days. Yeah, I did three a day for four days. So uh, good luck and may be blessed uh, this new moon, th this full moon to new moon next March 2020. But for now, my sweethearts, my fellow Earth signs, hail, farewell, and blessed be.